Recently, the Lord, please sit down. The Lord was speaking to me, and He said there is an evil that is going on right now. It's 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 a seasonal evil, and He said to me, it's a group affliction. A group affliction. There's an affliction that has been released on earth that is a group affliction. You know this kind of affliction that happened to the children that were born when Jesus was born. Most of them were killed because they were looking for Jesus. It also happened to Moses. Children were killed at that time, but his life was preserved. I stand on this altar and declare over you that this group affliction that is snatching away women will not see you and I in the name of Jesus. I don't know whether you understand this. Now there is an attack that has been released. He said it to me and I saw it. There's an attack that has been released and he's moving, he's picking people, especially those that are opening doors for the devil. We will be dealing with all of this tomorrow. There are some of us that are opening the door for the devil. We are opening with bitterness, with envy, with anger. All of that is opening doors for certain sicknesses to snatch women, to take women from their place. But as you step into the place of worship, come on. As you step into the place of worship and sit in the place of worship because you are created for worship, you will not be one of them in the name of Jesus. The word she shared with us now said, if you can stay in the place of worship because you are created for worship, number one, you will not die. Come on, that's exciting. Uh -uh, that's exciting. That's exciting. So if you don't want to die, what do you do? You obey. Half obedience is no obedience. Delayed obedience is no obedience. May you obey in the name of Jesus. It's not the hearers that are justified, but the doers of the word. I choose to worship. Is someone saying that? I choose to worship. May you become a true worshiper. He seeks those that will worship him in spirit and in truth. When you worship, you will not be sick. Hey! When you sit in the place of worship, you will enjoy favor. Some of us, what has brought us far in the journey of life is the favor of God. Because if you look at our qualification, it's not even enough. But favor singled us out and showed us certain things in life that put us where we are today. May that favor speak for you in the name of Jesus. As you worship, you will be delivered. Ah! You will be delivered. Not only you, your children. Not only your children, your husbands. Everything that is connected to you will be delivered. In the name of Jesus. So as the spirit of death is moving in this generation, it will not see you, it will not see me. I thought I would hear that amen. I'm not speaking of myself. I'm speaking by the spirit of God. By the power of God. By the calling of God upon my life. And so shall it be in the name of Jesus. And she concluded by saying that evangel evangelism is our supreme task. If someone beside you is not yet born again, you have a heavy assignment. May you win souls to the kingdom. So if the other person from the other religion is wondering why we are unkind because we are not calling people to this Jesus that is so sweet. Don't you know Jesus is so sweet? He's the sweetest name I know. Hallelujah. So briefly we are going to pray. But we will pray more tomorrow. The Lord laid in my heart to pray for certain women here today. You're battling with a sickness in your body. One of the singers here today said, there is no impossibility with God. None. And when we're making intercessions for this program, the Lord said to me that today, pray for the sick. Tomorrow we will pray intensively, but now I want to pray for those that have sickness in their body. 
there is something you are battling with. You know it. You've not even told anybody. It's just between you and probably your doctor. Your doctor told you and you know it. There is healing in the house. I tell you the truth. There is healing in the house. There is long life in the house. God is going to mark you for long life today. That devil is a liar. There are some of you that are scared of dying. The, the, the thought of death is always in your heart. But the Lord said he will shift you from that place to a place of long life. The spirit of the Lord is here. So if you are like that, rise up on your feet. The presence of God is not where we are ashamed. It's a place where we want to be delivered. I said it to you when I came up the first time. The worst thing that can happen to you is to waste your time. You didn't come here to waste your time. You came here for a transformation. You came here for a change. God ordered your steps specifically to do something unique in you. And if I were you, I would take this five minutes that I have to spend here to rise on my feet. So if you know you have any illness in your body, just quickly rise on your feet. Place your hand on the place. Because that illness will go now in the name of Jesus. Jesus is the sweetest name I know. Oh, he's always just the same. Oh, praise his holy name. That is the reason why I love him so. Jesus is the sweetest name I know. Come on, people, let's sing the song. Jesus, you are the sweetest ever. Come forward quickly. Sing that song. Sing it softly as they come forward. That name is going to deliver you tonight.
hands on wherever the pain is, whether it's your chest, whether it's your stomach, that name Jesus has been highly exalted. And at the mention of the name of Jesus, every knee must bow. There is no sickness that can remain under the sound of that name. So I come under that name and ask Heavenly Father that the hand of healing comes on this people. Every sickness that has been sent into your body in the form of an arrow for some of you. Hear the word of God. I come against you in the name of Jesus. And I declare healing right now over every one of you. Over every one of you. Every disease under the sound of my voice. Hear the word of God. I curse you from the roots. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. Father, your word says, by the stripes of Jesus, we were healed. Amen. And because we were healed, we are healed. Amen. I declare by the unction of God upon my life. Tomorrow, every one of you will come back to share your testimony. Amen. Satan, take your hands off these people. Jesus. I rebuke you in the name of Jesus. Amen. Every sickness in the life of these people, I curse you from the roots. Pack your Lord and go in the name of Jesus. He that the Son of God has set free, he is free indeed by virtue of the anointing. You are free in the name of Jesus. Every yoke of sickness, high blood pressure, high diabetes, fibroid, I command the fire of God to consume you now in the name of Jesus. Cancer, pack your Lord and get out in the name of Jesus. Every symptom in oppression by virtue of the anointing. Cease tonight. Cease tonight. Cease tonight. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. It is done in Jesus' name. Amen. Check yourselves. It is done in the name of Jesus. Amen. Get up. Check yourselves. Check yourselves. I know it is done. Hallelujah. Father, we give you all the glory. Begin to give him praise. Give him praise. It is done. It is done. You are coming back here tomorrow with your testimonies. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. So for those of you that couldn't do one thing or the other before, begin to do it. For those of you that can't move your legs, those of you that have pains, joint pains, you are loose, you are Amen. set free Amen. in the name of Jesus. Amen. So go back to your seats, check yourselves. We'll be expecting your testimonies tomorrow. Hallelujah. Amen. You are coming back with your testimonies. You are coming back with your testimonies. You are coming back with your testimonies. You are coming back. You are coming back with your testimonies. You are coming back. You are coming back with your testimonies. Hallelujah. Now I'd like you to lift up your heart and let's just talk to God for a few minutes. If you want to rise, you rise. If you want to take any position, you take it. We we'll just talk to God for a few minutes. I want you to know that you are not an accident. Your presence on earth is not a mistake. You are wanted here. You are valued. You are needed here on earth. And God created you with a unique purpose. He created you for worship. He created you to carry out an assignment. I want you to know that your calling is calling you. There is a call that is calling you. And I don't want you to miss it or lose it. I'd like you to open up your heart today and say, Father, here am I. Here am I, Lord. Here am I, Lord. I make a decision today to live a surrendered life. 
I make a decision today to serve you. I make a decision to be a worshiper, to worship you in spirit and in truth. In the name of Jesus. I am a creation of God with a unique purpose. In the name of Jesus, I don't need to do things to get the acceptance of others because God created me for a purpose. I step into my purpose after this conference. In the name of Jesus, after this conference, I will find my purpose and I will manifest my purpose in the name of Jesus. I will not waste my life. I will not waste my time doing ordinary things, doing mundane things. Money is not what purpose is about. Material things is not what purpose is about. It may be as little as that boy that showed up with five loaves and two fishes. I step into purpose after this conference. In the name of Jesus, my children discover their purpose on time. My husband works in purpose. In the name of Jesus, I am on an assignment. after this conference. Amen. I'm hearing it again. There will be a shift for you after this conference. Amen. Because you will step into purpose. You will stop living an ordinary life. You didn't come when the speaker was saying, she said, you didn't come here just to get married, have babies, die and be buried. You are more than that. You are an assignment. Your calling is calling you. The voice of God has been speaking to you for years, but you've been pushing it down because circumstances will not let you manifest. But after this conference, you will begin to manifest your purpose in the name of Jesus. One more time, open up your heart and say, Lord, I open up myself for you. I open up myself for your anointed. I open up myself for your grace. Your grace that is sufficient. In the name of Jesus, I open up myself to be used by you. I am ready and I am available. Use me, oh God. Use me, oh God, to bring glory to your name. Use me, oh God, to bring joy to people. Use me, oh God, to be valuable in my generation. What will I be remembered for? What will you be remembered for? Come on, somebody. Life is about purpose. Life is about purpose. Help me to discover my purpose. As I'm being taught tomorrow on how to discover purpose, help me to find it. In the name of Jesus, that I'll begin to enjoy my life. Thank you, precious Lord. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray. Amen. For some of us, the reason why you are sick is because you are not in purpose. The reason why you don't find joy in your heart. You know, for some people have gone for counseling. By the grace of God, I'm a mental health um, therapist and I do a few counselings. Some of us go for counselling thinking that something is wrong with you. Nothing is actually wrong with you. Your problem is that you have not aligned yourself with your purpose. You have not aligned yourself with your calling. You have not aligned yourself with your assignment. But after this conference, you will align yourself with your assignment and life will become sweet. Amen. Yes. Because some of us are so blessed yet we are unhappy. You have everything, you are not happy. The Spirit of the Lord said to, say to you, it is that thing I've been calling you to do that you have refused to do. That's why you are miserable. That's why you are bitter. That's why you look like the bitter woman, the angry woman. But after this conference, you will become a joyful person in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Do you believe it? 
Do you believe it? Yes, Do you believe it? Yes, Everything about you is about to change. Amen. Everything about your family is about to change. Amen. In the name of Jesus, the flyers didn't bring you here. Social media didn't bring you here. God himself brought you here for a purpose. And I pray you don't miss that reason in the name of Jesus. Amen. One more time, say, oh Lord, I am ready. Oh, Lord, ah, I, am ready. I am ready to step into my place. In the name of Jesus, that place you have created for me in life and destiny, I am ready to step into it. I am ready to obey you. I have disobeyed you for too long, but right now I am willing. I am obedient in the name of Jesus. I am willing. I am obedient in the name of Jesus. Thank you, eternal rock of ages. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray. Amen. Jeremiah chapter 30, verse 17. For I will restore health to you. God is still talking about health here. God is still talking about health. For I will restore health to you. And your wounds I will heal, declares the Lord. Because they have called you an outcast. Is Zion from whom no one cares. Because they have called you an outcast. They have called you names. They have looked down on you. They have pushed you out. They have said you are not relevant. Some people have even called you useless. But God is restoring. I'm hearing restore, restore. Amen. God Amen. is causing a shift for your sake. Amen. You are being restored to your original Amen. place. Amen. There is a place that is original. Thank there is Jesus. that original genuine you that was stolen. But God is restoring. He is restoring you seven times over. In the name of Jesus. Amen. So open your mouth one more time and say, oh God, I receive this restoration now. Restoration of all that I've lost in the journey of life. Oh, Yado Tatalika. Restoration of my beauty. Restoration of my glory. Restoration of everything I have lost. Restoration of my children. Restoration, restoration of everything I have lost. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray. Amen. God is working in our time. And you need to be a part of it. There is a work going on in this age. If the Bible should be rewritten, where, which character will you play? Let's assume there's a new Bible. Where will you be? Will you be the Esther? Or will you be the Vashi? Or will you be Ruth? Or will you, will you be Jezebel? Who will you be in the Bible? I'd like you to open up your heart and say, Lord, I know you are working. And I choose to be a part of what you are doing. There is a work going on in the realm of the spirit. I choose to be a part of it. I choose to be a part of it. God does not force people. People make decisions to serve God. I made up my mind to serve you. I made up my mind to worship you. God is seeking through worshippers. God is looking for worshippers. Those that will worship Him in spirit and in truth. Thank you, Holy Ghost. Thank you, Holy Ghost. Yes, Lord. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. If I don't stop and the spirit of intercession takes over, we may not continue to worship. Tonight is worship. The next section of worship we're going to have, make sure you open your heart to the point that heaven comes down. Listen to me. God inhabits the praises of his people. God puts his nurseries where they are worshiping him. And he smells the worship and enjoys it. That's God. And God will do the same here tonight with these few minutes that we have. If you believe that rides on your feet, throw your head back and give the Lord a shout.